Pitocin, let's talk about it. So Pitocin is synthetic oxytocin, which is the hormone of love in our body. It is designed to help encourage progress in birth through the use of power or force. So when there is a labor stall and we're wanting to encourage progress, get baby deeper in the pelvis, encourage dilation and effacement and progress. A lot of times what the medical paradigm adds as a first line of defense is Pitocin. The idea is we strengthen the intensity of the contractions, the frequency of the contractions, and that's gonna get baby um, to progress through the pelvis. So what happens though, in the event of a labor stall. Let's talk about it. So let's pretend this is your pelvis. And of course we know there's curves and it's much more dynamic than that. And let's pretend this is your baby. So when there is a stall in progress, sometimes absolutely we need more power, or more force behind those contractions. Sometimes though, there is a delay because there is an imbalance or there is a restriction. There is a soft tissue or something else in the way, not allowing baby to get deeper in the pelvis. And now what do you think is gonna happen if now we wanna force baby deeper in the pelvis using Pitocin, breaking the water, something to encourage force. Now we have baby stuck even deeper in the pelvis. And while Pitocin has its place, when we address a physiological tool first, we address an imbalance, we create more balance, more space. Now maybe we still need Pitocin, maybe we still need force, but nine times out of 10, you remove the restriction, you encourage balance, and now progress is made without the use of Pitocin. Pitocin absolutely has a time and a place, and thank goodness we have it, but we need to learn how to use it more judiciously, and we should be encouraging physiological tools before the use of a medical intervention, because we know medical interventions, while they have their place, have a much higher risk of complications and issues associated with them. So why not try a physiological tool first, such as a hand on release or a position change or something to release or address a tension in a tissue.